Birds and wildlife of Kenya, a small group set departure safari. Uh, Kenya is one of Africa's top uh, birding countries, at least. Uh, the bird list stands at over a thousand species, so that's pretty impressive. And of course, it's got the wildlife, uh, it's world famous for its wildlife, especially the Mara. Um, so, a great country and uh, definitely a must for anyone uh, interested in Africa and African travel. Um, this safari. Uh, well, the thing about Kenya, and especially in terms of birding, is it's, it's very hard to do it all and, and go for all the species. Um, it's a big country, getting around takes time. Um, some of the birds are, you know, find in isolated forests and stuff. So in order to try and see a lot of birds, but not necessarily all of them, plus uh, some of the main wildlife areas, uh, we've developed this specific itinerary, which we think uh, balances it pretty nicely but between getting a good uh, bird list uh, and seeing a lot of wildlife in some great reserves. So obviously we land in Nairobi, we spend a the night there uh, just to settle in and early the next morning we load up and we head up to Samburu. Now Samburu is a fantastic reserve, a great way to start off. Uh, it's, it's reasonably dry reserve, um, uh, yeah, rocky hills, uh, it's got the, the, the main river flowing through it uh, as, a, as a central point. Um, we stay at Elephant Bedroom Camp uh, on, the, on the banks of the river superb tented camp. Um, some great mammals to be seen, especially what uh, they call the Samburu specials such as Jeronuk, uh, reticulated giraffe, uh, Bisa oryx, um, uh, desert warthog, uh, vulturine guinea fowl, uh, some uh, gravy zebra of course, uh, great uh, mammals to be seen and some fantastic birding. Uh, as a birding photography destination it, it really is outstanding. Um, so yeah, two nights there to start off. And then we head back in the direction of Nairobi to the old Pejeta Conservancy. Uh, this is a fantastically scenic area um, in the shadow of Mount Kenya. Um, so we'll be doing safaris out on uh, animal filled plains with uh, Mount Kenya uh, forming the backdrop. It's just absolutely classic Kenya. Um, so we have a night there really worth, uh, worthwhile. And from there we go through to some of the, the Rift Valley lakes, uh, Baringo, Bogoria, etc. We spend a couple of nights exploring that area. We, we do get onto the water on a, on a boat trip, a birding boat trip. Uh, birding by boat's always fun. Uh, as we make our way slowly towards uh, Kakamega Forest. Um, this is one of the birding highlights. Uh, Kakamega is, is actually a remnant of, of the great rainforests uh, that you find further west that used to extend uh, much further east than they do today. Um, so Kakamega is a sort of remnant patch and it's it's got a lot of special birds, so it's almost like a taste of West African rainforest birding. Um, so three nights there, um, birding on foot in the forest, absolutely fantastic. Uh, from there we through to uh, Lake Victoria. Uh, we spend a night uh, basically just breaking up the journey, but also great to see uh, Lake Victoria. What an impressive uh, body of water, of course. And from there down to the Masai Mara, uh, arguably the highlight of the tour. Uh, needs little in the way of introduction, uh, a lot of game, um, some great birding. Uh, like most of the t our reserve stops, we have unlimited game drive, so we're not limited to going out for a few hours in the morning and the afternoon. Uh, we can take packed meals and range out across the plains as we see fit, really. If we want to go out the whole day, we do that. If we really want to see the area, we want to see it as well as we can. We don't have a lot of time there, um, so we want to make the most of it. And yeah, at the end of the Mara, we uh, get a, a short uh, scheduled flight uh, back to Nairobi to end it all off. So a superb Kenya itinerary.